morning guys welcome to another episode of tinker tuesday with big daddy here on the highland homestead this project this week is called brownie points for your better half what i just got done doing is finish building my better half a grow light system now i took a we had this old uh, little portable $20 greenhouse. And the problem was with our covered porch, having this inside to start our plants, the plants would bend towards the light. And it made them long and weak stems and they really didn't do good very good when we planted them. Some grew, some didn't, but we were a little disappointed with it. So what I did this year was I got some grow lights off of eBay. Now I got two different types to see which one's better. The first type, which are on the first two shelves, it's a single unit with four T5 grow lamps. Uh, this one is mounted with jack chain on this particular one because we're missing the crossbar. This one here has got a hook to support it. And they have end receptacles too so you can daisy chain all your lights. So you can have just one plug. And they got two separate switches. So you can split them in half if you like. Uh, we're obviously are going to use them in the full get-go. So this is what we got on the first two shelves. Um, I'm not for sure what's best. So we got fluorescent grow lights on the first two. The last two shelves, I have full spectrum LED lights. Um, bought these as a kit. They were, I bought two four packs. Each kit was a four pack. Uh, I do suggest if you buy these LED strip lights to buy the connectors. What came with this kit was connectors that you were supposed to splice to get. It was awful. I had to reorder regular connectors for these and that made things a whole lot easy. But what I did with these is I mounted four on each shelf, mounted it to a piece of plywood, and I used one whole straps on the plywood to hold it on the shelf. And you can see those little jumpers. And that same thing with this. I daisy chained it all so that it comes off of one plug. See what it looks like. Uh, here we go. So here's the full spectrum LEDs. Uh, we are going to give this a go this year and see how it grows. We will let you guys know. Uh, what works better? Um, I'm thinking that the fluorescents are going to be good to start them with because the fluorescents are going to add a little bit heat to the soil, which will help them germinate. And the bottom ones, I think, will do better once the plant starts growing. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if any of you have any experience with all this, you know leave a comment and let us know what you think is better but we're going to have two we're going to do experiment we'll find out which one's better we'll continue this as they as you know when they do plant them and they grow we'll see you know which one does better uh maybe they'll maybe they'll won't be no difference and they'll be the same but i like i said i bought these on ebay the four lamp t5 fixtures were like 29 dollars so I bought two of them. And I think the four pack was like 20 bucks, $22, something like that. I'm not for sure 
what they are currently because I bought them a while ago f to do a project and I just now amongst the other honey to do list things I have got to it because it is spring and we need to get our stuff growing so we can get it out to the garden um, the reason why we do this is where we live we have a very short growing season luckily this spring we're getting a real early spring so hopefully we'll have a good garden season but this we're hoping to grow the plants get them nice and stir you know nice thick stems good root systems before we plant them out the garden to get it a really good jump start so we can have um, a better production uh, we do a lot of tomatoes, beans, corn, uh, that's our main staple. We can them and we have reserves and as everything is today we don't have to run to the store very much to get food with the CV-19 thing going on because we got meat in the freezer, we got food on the shelves, uh, it's kind of like what we do but it's really nice when we make a dinner it is all whether it's a pigs that we have butchered ourselves or venison that we've taken out in the field we also got the complements of potatoes corn side dishes to add to it and you know it's kind of nice that you have your own homemade meals that has been provided by your homestead so that's what we enjoy so I'm hoping this works we'll see uh, like I said if you guys have any experience with LEDs versus the Florence says, please leave a comment. We would like to hear it. And the whole purpose of everything is us showing what we do and we take information that you guys do and it to make a better homestead. So you guys have a good day. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Like I said, a happy wife is a happy big daddy. You guys have a good day. Thank you. And we'll update this as the plants grow. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.